Uh, we ventured off to Walmart and people are asking me, how is Walmart foods comparing to what I've been feeding my flower horns and cichlids? And uh, it's funny how people ask me that because most people just go out and buy one. But um, we're going to actually try this. And what we got today, we're going to try it on our flower horn. This one we're going to try out with Bob. This is jumbo size. So this tetra cichlid, jumbo carnivore sticks. It's for marine too. Live food alternative for aggressive carnivores, which are flower horn. Crude protein, 47% crude protein, which is why I bought it. That higher crude is always better. That's what you want to look for. And uh, also here in the floating cichlid pellets, natural color enhancer, this has 42% crude protein. So they're both on the high side. Walmart I think does not guarantee returns if it's open so we're gonna have to take our chances. It smells really good. So venture off with me and we're gonna try these. Okay here's Bill. Bill's gonna try the cichlid pellets. So in this video, in this part of the video, I add some of the regular cichlid pellets into Bill's tank and he does not, he tries them and he does not like them whatsoever. It was a complete dud. Uh, I found that the flower horn was very hungry, disappointed as uh, he roamed back and forth, grazing the water, trying to figure out why this tastes like this. And you can tell that the flower horn wasn't very disappointed and was not happy. He just continually grabbed it and bit it and tried to munch it and spit it, spat it out. And that was very, very um, unorthodox of me to do. And I didn't, I wasn't, I felt very shameful, actually. He's not happy whatsoever. Look at that. Yeah, he's not liking it whatsoever. So. That sucks. Alright, so this is Bob. And I threw some of the carnivore sticks in here that were designed for carnivore cichlids and flower horns known to be with their very aggressive nature which is a carnivore so in this category would be um, Oscars, wolf cichlids and red devils and parrots and so on and uh, here you can tell that Bob was very disappointed again he was uh, munching, biting, scrunching these things and as you can see in this clip He's slowly moving back and he draws back and look at his mouth if you focus here he's gonna go for it and you see all those pieces just crumble through his gills and out of his mouth and I know for a fact right away he was very pissed off just the way how he grazed back and forth and he's like why is this kind of food like this like the cool blue light Like the cool blue light. 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 Here, you can see how much food he takes in and spats it out. And that shows you that the fish or the species that is consuming this is very unhappy.
So in this tank, this is the other side beside Bob and this is Bogart. And aside from all the other cam uh, the other flower horns, he was actually nibbling and biting and he spat it out. This meaning that all three flower horns were upset, were unsatisfied, and just overall unhappy with the food of the Tetra brand from Walmart. So there's your answer. That's what it is what it is. And there's proof for you. So to make the long story short, these products are not advisable for flower horn from my review and it's just right for you to not consume these for your flower horns. This was a segment by Learn28. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, follow, leave a comment if you must, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down if you want. It's all up to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again on the next video.